Okay, went to Spain. Another oh, contentious question. This is, uh, as I alluded on earlier, it is contentious because of a few different reports from different breeds, from different sort of uh, studies that have shown. So in general, uh, like I said, the statistics still stand before the first season, 98% are not getting memory cancer. After the first season, 70%. After the second season, 40%. Um, then you have all your other things of urinary incontinence, you display too early, then the question is, okay, pick one, um, of bone cancer. Um, code change if they're not wanting that sort of thing um, so that is the sort of uh, issues that is happening out there so personally my advice is that if it's a small breed dog you're not going to use for breeding um, and it isn't in one of those highlighted breeds that I know of uh, that is not giant breed not Rottweiler not flat coat um, then we are talking about six months before the first season all the risks is explained and if they are uh, happy with that then we continue with it then keyhole spay uh, we don't see too many issues from that in my experience if they are a little bit more concerned they want to have the first season they say yeah that's fine let's have the first season first then we tend to spay three months after the season uh, because and uh, that's also quite interesting uh, anybody knows why three months after the season good okay so basically during the season okay uh, there is increased blood flow because everything is becoming quite active so after the season is over then after and what happens we can still spay then to be really honest okay it's an ovary we can still remove it but it just makes the surgery a bit more complicated because there's so much blood over there so much extra blood flow that wouldn't have if it's not in season so it just made the procedure a bit more complicated pain in the backside yeah, <laughs> yeah. so some dogs they're not regular Exactly. So, so, so sometimes, so that's why people talk about waiting three months because we presume three months um, would be enough for them to, if they go to a six-month cycle, three months is right in the middle before they go. Okay. But if you season in January, then March you're on holiday, uh, April your parents are around, and you can't spare till May. It's not a problem as long as it's before the next season. It is still all quite inert, so you don't don't have to worry about that three month window. We don't want to do it before three months, but after three months before the next season, any time can be done. Does that make sense? Yeah. So certainly, there's been time before where some owners they delay, delay, delay. Then they book in for a spay, then it comes to season on that day. <laughs> so and that does happen as well. So it doesn't have to be exactly three months. It can be three months after before the next season. Does that make sense? Some some dogs they come to season every four months. Okay. So that those type. You just got to be quite careful. Three months, bang, let's book in right now. Let's do it because you wait another week, come to season again. You wait for another three months, mm -hmm. so to speak. Really? Yeah. Or some is <laughs> yeah. So, which is fine, really. So, it depends when you're on a spay. If, you, if you're wanting to spay, yeah. then after the next season, three months, then you just get a spay yeah. before. So, so, that is the sort of idea of when they had a season already, plus three months. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be exactly three months. It can be a little bit over. Yeah. But when to spay, when they're puppies, the contest is out there, like I said, small breed dogs, they don't want to breed six months of age before the first season, then they get the benefits of reduced risk of memory cancer, and as long as they understand the cons of urinary incontinence and everything else. In summary, considerations for cat neutering seem relatively straightforward. No people, not many people have any issues regarding when to spay or castrate your cat as long as it is done, so to speak. Okay. Considerations for dog castration, including behavior and medical aspects, so something you got to relate to the owners. You know, do you want to get it castrated? If you don't want well balanced dog, it's nice and gentle, good. As long as you understand the risk, you'll check it on a yearly basis, just like any other medical checkup. Considerations of bridge space seem the most contentious. Multiple factors, pros and cons need to be considered. For that. And that really is a discussion, really. Okay. And the discussion we have is highly advised to make an informed decision. And that's a key thing in the end uh, for those people who, uh, for, for, for those of you who have uh, spoken to me before and know me, I'm a big fan of informed decision. That really isn't a right or wrong. As long as we both understand the pros and cons and uh, we'll support each other in our choice together in making the, the right choice for that particular situation. And that is what I find the most uh, useful really. If you can't read the small words, it says, uh, <laughs> have your human spade on, uh, on you too. <laughs>